Boo, I'm not disclaiming any business. Like, I'm not. What I just want everyone to know that before you can say you want to own your own business, I hope you've made your research very well. Like, do your research very well. Take care of your legal aspects if you... If you have a big plans like your dream towards this business like one thing i've noticed about business so far is you cannot just afford to say okay yes i want to start selling let me make an example i want to start selling hair and then suddenly you just stopped like no people trust you what are you telling them they should stop trusting your business i'm a kind of person I don't I know I don't I don't reply chat every period every time but when I'm due to work and when I'm free I make sure I replies on my chat. I think I've put on a video commenting about how I wanna change start replying chat and replying comments. It's not like Shakara but work demands at times does not permit me to reply but once I'm free like I make sure I attend to all my emails, my message, I reply back. But a few days ago i noticed something wow okay i was just bored and then i just pick up my phone like oh whoa, it's been a while let me check the update what's happening online any new gist any new news then and one thing i usually do is ever since this whatsapp status thing started like when i get my phone when i get to the whatsapp app to reply my chat on whatsapp i don't just go straight to the message to the chat i move straight to the status like let me check the updates that's that's what comes up to my mind like i'll start viewing status of the key people i could view like things that i know that okay this kind of people you could learn one or two things or the other i don't just view status because i want to view it sick no not for viewing sick i just view it like okay let me see what to learn on this what does this person's upload what does this person show up there so but one thing i noticed I was viewing then the next thing I just bumped into a friend's tattoos and then I just saw like she was trying to advertise her business like you know when you have she put on a logo she put out a logo on the status and I'm like wow really ha okay I you know I moved to the next start viewing the product what she's into what she's selling clothes wears and shoes Wow, I'm like, oh wow, I sent her a message, oh, congrats, babe, and at least this is like for a start. I discovered that these days, like ever since this old corona thing had cut off, like had started flooring everywhere, I discovered that many people are now investing into business. Like, I, mean, I want to have my own business, I want to have my own business, I want to, have, I, need to I want to be a CEO, but woo, it's a good idea. I'm not disputing that fact, but one thing I want you to know is are you ready? Like can you undo the business like it's a matter of okay yes i want to have a business i want to have my own business like can you really undo the business <laughs> i know what i would say so but truth fact congratulations at least the first idea you've gotten is for you to be strategized for you to know that okay yes i want to have my own business that was like a first idea but i after that i, I noticed that i checked into another person status the same thing like that particular day, I make sure that I view everyone's status on my contact. <laughs> like, I just want to know what is going on. And I could discover that almost everybody I need to business. <laughs> like, I don't need to go to the market to get anything again. Through my phone, I can get anything. Is it shopping of foods? Is it shopping of, like, even the food, if you want to order for your food, like, let them cook it and bring it. I have them. I clothes, like, dress, like, shoes. Like, there are some people that they combine those business together. Even hair. The hair, they are, like, <laughs> they, are also, they are following each other. Like, literally, your fashion is on your phone already. Like, you can dress up yourself. You don't have to go to any malls again. Just dress up yourself through your status. <laughs> the way people but one thing i want every small business owner should understand is it's not a matter of i just want to have a business it's a matter of your strategies when i mean strategies your branding what your business entails like the strategies you have your packaging how are you your referrals how you talk to your Ooh. customer i'm not disclaiming any business like i'm not 
what I just want everyone to know that before you can say you want to own your own business, I hope you've made your research very well. Like, do your research very well. Take care of your legal aspects if you if you have a big plans, like your dream towards this business. Like, one thing I've noticed about business so far is. You cannot just afford to say, okay, yes, I want to start selling. Let me make an example. I want to start selling hair. And then suddenly you just stopped. Like, no, people trust you. What are you telling them? They should stop trusting your business. It's not supposed to be. And in order for all those things should not happen, because I know most of those things happen, maybe like lack of finance or support or lack of business plan and like you cannot just say you want to start a business without having a plan i don't know i don't get it like <laughs> you need to have a business plan like your business plan will really help you to strategize and to know what you need for your business the time right understanding the business risk <laughs> okay sorry about the cut yes um sorry about i know you seen another different dress yes <laughs> yes i just want to complete this video i was actually filming it then something came up but um, sorry about it i just need to complete this clip because i just feel that i have small things to share and people can learn so what i was talking about earlier on was about business plan having a business plan it is needed in any business having a deep business plan because I noticed that, not even notice, even almost every organization don't have a good business plan and it affects the financial growth of the business, which is very, very bad. Like as a business owner, as a small business owner, you're just coming up, see, whatever will be yours will be yours. Nobody's going to take it from you as long as you hand over your business unto God. And don't just forget that, that before you start anything, you hand it over to God. As long as you hand it over to God, trust me, and you're trying your best, you're doing your best. Of course, your business is going to be flourish, but make sure you have a business plan, like it is needed. And in your business plan, make sure you have your description, what your business is all about, your market analysis, your organizations, your management, your focus, your goals, those things you're driving towards. Calm <laughs> down. Those things you're driving up, like you need that as a business entrepreneur. I, I would, there's a book I got as a birthday gift last year. I'm going to put it, I think, um, how to be a business CEO or something. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to look for the book and snap it and put it up here. Like, you need to read books. Like, books about business, financial growth, business. God. <laughs> business is not a joking, joking thing. It's not just, okay, even if you're not a kind of person that you love reading books, you need to make your research. Be sure about what you're doing see you cannot just put on or put out your business out there many people trust you like take it or leave it and apart from that your packaging hey <laughs> your packaging means a lot and when i mean your package I'm like me as a kind of person most of the time when i patronize people i i don't just patronize them about what they sell but when i will see the way they package it i don't know if you're following me on instagram you would have been seeing me putting up some business like advertising some product like see young power food <laughs> one of the things that i like a package it's not a matter of is the content it's not just the content inside the bag but it's about the way she package it i can go out to the market and get the pomo yes i can just get it and buy it but when i see the way she pack package it when i see the way she brand it like I'm, i just fall in love with it i just fall in love with it and most brand influencer even before they said okay let me help you or let me accept your contract or contract or okay i want to uh, you, you, you called me as your brand influencer and then I am here to influence your business like they don't just go ahead like the first thing they check they go through your page to see okay what does this business entails like how do you package it like you need a good business package you need it like learn it take it I know I don't want to make this video long but as time goes on I would also be dropping tips and how to write your business plan like see 10 tips to start your business i know but i just want to speak like take it from every 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 point like boo <laughs> it's not a small thing to have a business i mean it and i'm telling you business is not a joke like this one say i'm an entrepreneur i'm an entrepreneur <laughs> do you know what it takes to be an entrepreneur and do you know that 
eh? There are different types of entrepreneur. Do you know that? Like, do you get that? <laughs> you cannot just say you're an entrepreneur. Yes, yes, yes. So, with the little point of mine, I hope I've been able to let you understand that having a business, have your plan before having a business, like before starting your business. Ignore the break. I hope by now I've been able to give you tips of what you need to know before starting your business like i hope you've understand that like one thing i want you to also take notice provide a prospective financial <laughs> financial outlook for the next five years like before starting the business eh think about the money to run the business not just money like do you have the enough cash if you want to invest into it, like, are you ready to invest everything financially, psychologically, like, emotionally? Are you ready to to pay your price for this business? Like, are you ready? <laughs> business is not a joke. Like, it is not a joke. You should be ready for whatever you want to start. I hope you've been able to understand what it takes to start your business, the tips and everything you need to start your business. Yes, but don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. You need it. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> and click the notification button below so that when I post the next video, you can always receive it. Yes. And also, if you have any content you want me to talk about, anything you want me to talk about, you can kindly put it on the comment section below. I will always read your comments and answer everything and every question you want to ask me or anything you feel like I could share more light on, I could talk about yet. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.